So you want to know how to build a successful, sustainable online affiliate marketing business. Here, I'm going to show you five steps exactly and break them down for you how you can go about doing that here in 2018. Let's get into it. So the very first thing to ask is why affiliate marketing? You know, affiliate marketing is a great business, especially when you're starting out. There is a lot of work required in creating products, in trying to market them, in doing um, customer service, dealing returns and refunds, you know, trying to upsell people, so on and so forth. There is a lot of work into it that a lot of people dive into and don't realize until after the fact how much is actually involved. And so I know because I made this mistake myself where I spent five years building up a business and then realized that there was a much easier way to do it, which was a hybrid version of affiliate marketing, which by the way, is not necessarily what I'm teaching here. And if you want to learn more about that, there is a link below that is going to teach you how to make 10 K per month with us, me, I, meaning me and my mentor showing you exactly how to do it in a four part video series. Okay. But as it pertains to this video, affiliate marketing is a great way to go about doing it. You don't have to hold any product. You don't need to have obviously inventory, factories, staff, customer service, salespeople. You can just focus on creating content, which we'll touch more about on later that allows you to build your authority in your market, i.e. allowing you to sell products through affiliate marketing. So why would I touch upon a hybrid version as opposed to what it is that I'm showing you here? Now you see there's nothing wrong with affiliate marketing. It's a great way to get going. But as soon as you have the money, you should invest into a system that's going to allow you to make more and more money. What do I mean by that? Is What I mean is that a lot of affiliate marketing systems are broken. They are limited, i.e. You might send someone to Amazon to buy something, but unless they click, unless they click on your link and purchase it at that particular time or within the time frame that the cookie is dropped, and there's different variances, I think it's about a month on average, then you won't actually get the sale. More importantly, see, they've now gone to Amazon, they're, they're comfortable there, and they buy again and again and again, and, com and uh, Amazon gets you commissions, not necessarily you. Wouldn't it be great to have someone to be able to refer someone to something, and what it, whenever they buy on that website, for the rest of your life, you make commissions, okay? So that's what I mean by a hybrid version of affiliate marketing. However, let's break down how to build that successful, sustainable affiliate marketing online business today right now. So step number one that you really want to focus on is to pick yourself a niche. Now, how do you go about doing that? Now, I've actually got training already, an in-depth video on how to go about and I break it down step by step. I'll put the link in the description. Otherwise, you can just search on my channel where I actually go into different ways you can do it. But basically, two steps. What you want to do is you want to brainstorm hobbies and interests that you have, right? It could be anything. It could be sports. It could be um, trading, perhaps maybe uh, rental properties, affiliate marketing. It could be online business. Whatever it is that you have a hobby or an interest in, that is a good point to start. Break them all down and put them on paper. Then you want to go to a gigantic website that does this really, really well. And you want to look at things like Amazon, eBay, or maybe even ClickBank for ideas as to whether what you've got is a niche and it is big enough for you to actually make money from. Because that's something that a lot of people miss. And the reason I bring that up and it's so important for me to cover again and again on my channel is because, again, I spent five years developing a product, going into what I thought was a niche, turned out to be a micro niche, was too small, and I ended up wasting five years of my time. Don't get me wrong, like I got a lot of experience, I got into affiliate marketing, I made a lot of money, right? But it was very, very limited in terms of what I wanted to do. I wanted to turn it into a seven-figure business, and I couldn't. I was limited at six. It was even a stretch and a struggle to get it to multiple six, and I don't want you to make the same mistake. So once you brainstorm your ideas and you go ahead and you put them down on paper, you verify with Amazon, ClickBank, or eBay uh, through the actual process, then you know that you've actually got a niche that you can dive into. Then we go on to step number two. And step number two is to, in fact, create a following on some sort of platform that you choose. So the very first thing you need to do is, in fact, to pick a platform. Now, for some people, it's different. Some people like to do YouTube's uh, videos, sorry, and then YouTube might be obviously the way to go for you. Uh, if you like doing live videos in Instagram and YouTube could be a great option for you. Even YouTube does live videos now because they are some becoming so uh, becoming so powerful. In fact, even live videos now on YouTube are actually more powerful than created videos, right? So the, if you want to do uh, written text, then you might want to look into Instagram or Facebook if, or LinkedIn is another option, okay? Uh, if you want to do pictures, then you might want to look at Instagram 
or Pinterest might be the way to go for you, okay? So it really depends what type of media you choose, that will determine what platform you want to go on, okay? Obviously, if you really want to focus on written, for example, I don't know how I could have forgotten this, but blogging might be the way to go as well. Then the second thing you want to do in part number two is you want to lead with value. And this is where I see the mistake, and all it really takes for you is to go onto a forum of some sort, you know, type in whatever your keyword is, like, for example, um, cooking with Sally, or perhaps maybe health and fitness with Bob, whatever your business is, okay? Type that in, right? Uh, type in the, the actual key term, so health and fitness, and then forum or you can go onto the social media platforms and find groups the same thing type into you know Facebook search bar you know health and fitness and you'll get a, a myriad of pages and groups that you can join and what you find is most people don't lead with value what they lead is with the attempt to get a sale now understand that this is not just because everyone's doing it you doesn't mean you should be doing it in fact if everyone's doing it you should be doing the complete opposite right because it's been proven time and time and again throughout human history how wrong humans are how wrong people are sorry uh, more often than not so if, if you see 80 90 percent of people doing a particular strategy you should go the opposite way so instead of uh you know like flogging your, your affiliate links all over the place um to everybody and anybody who'll listen don't do that lead with value you know educate people about your market your niche what it is that you're trying to do share with people your vision your journey and what it is that you're going through and that's going to attract that to you right they're going to be attracted to your likable lovable character which is going to allow you to build authority they're going to get to know like and trust you is what we call it in marketing that then allows you to get sales without even trying people will reach out to you when they're ready and they'll start they'll start ask, asking questions and that's when you can start proposing the solutions and start really making some money now this leads kind of to a tangent of this video so if you feel if you want you can skip for a minute but i do need to touch upon this this is why i love youtube okay because on places like instagram yep you can go viral so that's super powerful don't get me wrong there's there's something that that can do that youtube can't you can get on facebook and you can post something and you might get suggested in the recommended videos but it's very very unlikely but with YouTube, if you create a video and you put it out there and it's a good piece of content, you could rank top five for years, right? I know this because the business I touched upon earlier on, I got paid seven years later over $1,200, right? In, in a span of about a year, I got paid, I think it was close to about $2,000 from one video that I'd created seven years ago. That's how powerful YouTube is. And that's why when I'm, I'm come back to this as my primary platform versus blogging or going into Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, right? This is now my primary flat platform and that's why I've chosen to do YouTube. So if you've got any questions about how to do affiliate marketing through YouTube, then go ahead and post them below this video. I'd be more than happy to help you. And if it's a big enough topic or there's a lot of people asking the same question, then I can create a video to help everybody that's subscribed and everybody that's coming into the flow, okay? So now, let's get back on track and talk about step number three. And so step number three is to build an email list. And this is something that I missed myself. Like I probably went a good one year without building a list. And with my previous business, I made an even bigger mistake. Like I went three, three and a half years without building a list, okay? So there was a lot of self-doubt as, as to the reason why I didn't build the list. But at the end of the day, what you should be doing is you should always be building it. Even if you don't have anything necessarily to email people immediately, just share your journey. So if you're creating a video, share with them a video, even, even if it's only once a week or if you're creating a video a day sure build that email list send them hey this is Sam here um, today I've created a video on affiliate marketing since since you subscribe to my affiliate marketing list I thought this may be a value to you um, this is a five steps how to build a successful affiliate marketing a sustainable successful affiliate marketing business in 2018 and beyond and I thought you might find it valuable then people will start coming from your list to check out what it is you're doing you're building more of that no like and trust factor again building your authority and allowing you to sell when you choose to sell and people seeking you out in terms of being the solution okay so this is where a lot of people make the mistake and I touched upon it earlier on is that everyone's trying to sell on social media when in fact what you should be doing is building your likable character on social media right whether it's YouTube Facebook Instagram whatever the case may be and then you sell through email because once people have put up their hand and they've reached out to you and they go yep I want to be part of your email list I like what you're doing um, I, I want what it is that you're offering that's basically what they're saying okay and then your job then is to deliver what it is that they've asked for we'll touch upon that shortly um, but then you want to be following up with them and start making sales that way you see the average person doesn't buy until they see an offer seven times now that was a statistic that I remember hearing four or five years ago. Nowadays, people are even more skeptical. So 
<clears throat> in 2018, it's never been harder to make a sale, yet it's never been easier to make a recurring sale, which means once you earn the, the trust and the like and the knowability from, of people who are following you on your email list, on YouTube, wherever the case may be, once you get to know them, once you get them and you get that first sale, it's a lot easier to continue to make sales from there on out, right? So what I'm telling you is that you need to build your likable character on the social media platforms and then you use your email list to email them uh, value, i.e. the content that you're publishing or stuff maybe that you've learned that you're not gonna share anywhere else. You wanna share that on your email list, that's gonna build the trust and then you make them an offer at the end of the email. Now, I'm not gonna go into email marketing in this, in this particular video. I have another video on my channel that you can check out that's gonna teach you exactly how to do email marketing on a daily basis to start generating yourself sales. Now, the other proponent to that is before you even get people on your email list, so I really should have touched upon this first, and my apologies for not doing that. What, uh, what you really wanna do is you want to offer something of value, okay? So for example, like for everybody that's watching this video, everybody who's watching this video is interested in building an affiliate marketing business. Now, wouldn't it make sense for me to offer a free affiliate marketing 10K per month in 90 days blueprint that people can follow to start generating that $10,000 a month, i.e. six figures a year, which is what a lot of us aim for, okay? That would make perfect sense. So whatever your whatever your niche is that you're choosing to dive into in terms of affiliate marketing, because you're probably thinking, well, I don't know, I don't know what I have to offer. So let's just say, for example, you're gonna build a YouTube channel and it's all about makeup. Now, what you can do is create a very specific video that is for your subscribers only, okay? And I'm not talking about your YouTube subscribers, I'm talking about your email subscribers, okay? So this is taking people from being followers on your social media platforms to being your email subscribers, okay? They, they, at that point, they're, kind of be, they're, they're going from followers to fans. And then you wanna turn from fans into customers, okay? And then customers eventually into, you know, lifetime fans. That's, that's, that's where you really, your tribe is what, is what we call it. So that's where, where you really wanna go, but we're taking you through the process step by step. So here's the thing, offer something of value as it relates to your market. In terms, of, uh, in terms of makeup, what you could do is, is create a video that, that teaches them how to use something that perhaps maybe is very popular, that usually they have to pay for. Make a <clears throat> video 20, 30, 40 minutes long, however long it takes, to do exactly that one thing that is not being shown anywhere else or that makes you very, very unique, okay? Or you could offer to, to give them a list of coupons to the makeup that, that you're recommending in your videos so they subscribe to your list, you email them the coupons, they use the coupons to save some money, everybody is happy. But now you have their email and you can market to them again and again and again. And instead of just getting possibly one sale, you could get possibly multiple sales, maybe even to the point where you get them to fans or tribe, right? At that point, you've got a customer for life and then you're building your six to seven figure business and you're going to another level. So step number four is all about creating a website. Now, what does that actually mean? Now, I know you're probably thinking like, no, I don't wanna go into all that, that's, that's way too much work. No, here's the thing. You don't necessarily need to have a blog and be posting, you know, 2,000 word articles every single day. But you do need to have a website that conveys some sort of information. So if you're putting out there like social media uh, value posts, you could post them on your blog first so that it actually shows up in, in Google's authority as your content. And then you can copy paste them onto social media a day or two later, okay? You just need to be a little bit more organized. Or if you're creating YouTube videos, then you could go about um, embedding the video, your YouTube videos into your blog and just give like a 200 word description. Bang, you now have a blog. But what happens is you've now got a base, a hub, a, a, a website that you can redirect people to, to sell more offers, to get people onto your email list, and more importantly, build your authority, okay? When they come in, you've actually got a website that teaches them more about what it is that you're actually interested in. You've already, you've automatically put, been put on a higher pedestal because most people don't wanna go through the effort. And I'm telling you right now, you could build a website in less than 10 minutes, right? If you purchase like uh, hosting, for example, through uh, HostGator or through Bluehost or JustHost, whatever the case may be, and you use their auto tools, to create yourself a blog or a website, just so simply people can simply land on, then you're now in a higher echelon than everybody else, okay? Because like I said, most people don't go through the effort, can't be bothered putting in the time to put themselves in that situation. Don't be those people, okay? Remember what I said, what most people are doing, 
do what do something else okay so the second part is once you've created your site right what you really want to do and this is the folk the key to it all is build that landing page because once you build that landing page you can direct traffic to that landing page give them that awesome thing that you have to offer and they're on your email list and then you can start making sales again and again all right now i hope that makes sense the fifth and final step that we're going to be talking about today is to promote products that are related to the one in which you're building so Say for example, if we're gonna be talking more about makeup, right, that's an easy one to cover. So say for example, this week, you know, <clears throat> Estee Lauder or whatever the brand is, sorry, I don't know much about makeup. But say for example, Estee Lauder does in fact have a lipstick and that's your niche. You're going into lipstick, right, in, in the makeup. The makeup really is kind of like a market because it's pretty big and you put it down into niches like lipstick, maybe eyeliner, whatever the case may be. I don't know why I chose this. It's probably the worst idea ever because I have very little to talk about in terms of this stuff. But here's Here's the thing say for example they sign up to your email list for lipsticks right and you send them the coupon list and that's that's your free giveaway people sign up to your list and this <clears throat> and say next week Revlon has got a disc uh, have, has got a special on all of their lipsticks right so you put out a YouTube video right you attract more people to your email list the people that are already on your email list you email them and say hey look Revlon's got a 25% sale right now if you click on this link it's gonna send you directly to everything that they have for offer for 25% off and it's yours compliments of me so you're starting again to build more no more like more trust because you've now given them a content video that shows them what you know what this revlon um, makeup or lipstick can do for them right you've now sent to your your email list a special discount that isn't available anywhere else and now people are saving money thanks to you so there you go it's really just come full circle they're going to be stuck on your email list for a while because they've just bought something that they really like now they know how to use it and here, here you come along giving them a discount to boot okay so they're going to be sticking with you for a while and they're going to be buying more and more stuff that you recommend as you continue to build your fan and your tribes right so look i hope you really enjoyed this video this video i really did break down in five steps how to build a sustainable successful affiliate marketing online business if you really want to learn more i would highly suggest clicking on the link below it's going to send you to my blog where i built a landing page so you can start see a lot of these elements that i'm talking about right now are in effect with this actual video so you can go there you can see my offer which is how to make 10k per month within 90 days with me and my mentor doing all of the hard work for you okay so i hope you enjoy that training stay four-part video series you're gonna love it go and check it out right you're gonna start getting emails on a daily basis showing exactly what to do and how to build this mammoth of a business take care much love and i'll see you in the next affiliate marketing video